Removing sales and liquor by the drink taxes and ensuring immediate unemployment benefits. Those are just a few requests a group of chefs and hospitality workers are asking of the state. News Channel 5's Kelsey Gibbs live in Germantown tonight. Kelsey, they sent a letter to the governor asking for help. Yeah, and together they are forming the Tennessee Action for Hospitality, made up of chefs, independent restaurant owners, and hourly workers. And they have a message for local and federal leaders, and that is to protect the hospitality industry. And even though we're feeling incredibly strong, I think, I think there's a lot of worry in a lot of people's minds. It's a feeling too hard to put into words. None of us want to be having this interruption in our lives right now. Many bars and restaurants across the state and the country closing in the wake of the coronavirus. If this goes on for four to eight weeks or more, like losing some of these small independent establishments is a reality. Chef Julia Sullivan had to temporarily shut the doors on her Germantown restaurant, Henrietta Red, which was already recovering from the tornado. We're all very worried about our personal well-being, but I think we're worried about the economy and the restaurant as well and having a place to go back to. It was no easy decision, Sullivan says, but she did it in order to keep the public and her staff safe. Now she and other chefs, independent restaurant owners and hourly workers are asking for help. So hopefully we can take this message to the governor and the state legislature. They're calling themselves the Tennessee Action for Hospitality. The mission is for small businesses in the industry all over the state to get some relief from the government during the state of emergency. Be able to do basic things like accounts payable, uh, pay our employees, but also pay sales tax, uh, LBD tax, um, payroll tax. They're asking local and federal leaders to suspend tax payments, loans, and rent. They want the max paid out on unemployment benefits to hourly workers, a cash stimulus package, and for insurance companies to cover lost revenue because in the end, they want to survive. Yes, of course, <laughs> I see us returning and doing well and bouncing back. They're also asking the state to loosen the restrictions on alcohol sales as well as eliminating payroll taxes during this crisis. Reporting live in Germantown, Kelsey Gibbs, News Channel 5.